When we're talking about recruitment, one of the challenges people face is having consistent branding and particularly having consistent look and feel of all of their marketing and outreach materials when you're working with other people. That might be because you're giving materials to partner sites to promote the positions, or maybe you're working with a team internally, maybe you're working with your parent organization. However this works, you wanna think about how can you make it easy on yourself and those you're working with to have a consistent look and feel and make sure you're using the brand guidelines of whatever your branding is, including AmeriCorps branding. So one tool that's come along in the last few years and really hit the scene hard is Canva. I don't know if you're already using Canva, but if you're not, I definitely recommend checking out Canva if you have permission to use it. It is a software that's through um, the internet, so it's not something that you purchase and download on your computer. You can use it from a browser like I'm doing right here. But one thing, well, there's many things that make Canva an incredibly useful tool. One of which is that, as you can see across the top here, you can create things very simply. Uh, if you wanna create a short video, if you wanna create a print product like a flyer, if you wanna create a document like a frequently asked questions, they've got tons and tons of templates and everything's already sized correctly for whatever tool you're going to create. The other thing I love that I wanna highlight right now is the Brand Hub. The Brand Hub is especially useful, like I said, if you're working with partner sites, if you're working with others on your team. So you go ahead and you build out your brand kit now you could do this in multiple ways. You, as you can see, you can put multiple logos in. So you could put your organization's logo. Maybe you have a funding partner who's also needs to be credited. And then you could add the AmeriCorps logo. So you can put all the logos that you're going to need on your materials into your brand kit. You can also add your colors. Um, there's an AmeriCorps branding guidelines sheet that tells you the codes for all of the AmeriCorps colors. So you could add those in. You can also create your fonts. I've got this set up with my Do Good Be Good brand kit fonts. And then you can even add photos, graphics that you want to be able to use in your marketing materials. And as long as you have a pro account, you can invite team members. So you can have multiple people who are collaborating using the same brand kit. Now, in addition to just having your brand kit in there, which is super useful, you can create brand templates. So if you're going to be, for example, doing a lot of social media, and let's say you're posting on LinkedIn, you might want to create a template so that you can always quickly build out a post about each position you have open using the same brand template. So as you can see here, these are ones I use regularly, so they're suggested, but you could search for any type of post. But as you can see, I can click on LinkedIn post. And the correct, uh, the correct dimensions will go ahead and be in here, and then I can create a template. So maybe I want to use things in my brand hub. So for example, maybe I want to put my logo in there from the brand hub. And then maybe I want to use a picture that I've already put into the brand kit. I can grab a picture from my brand kit. And then another thing that's cool is if you already create a design, like maybe you've got a summary of a position that you're posting, you can actually insert other projects that you've created into a new template or a new project that you're working on. So you can go into projects and designs, and let's say I want to bring in uh, a post all about our August workshop. I can pull that all in. 
Now the one problem with bringing in a new design is it kind of starts you out from scratch. I'm not sure why that does that, but uh, you can select the whole design because it brings in all the elements individually. You can say group and then you can change the size of it, move it around. So let's say you're going to make a flyer and you want to just include multiple listings in the single flyer. You can create each of those listings individually and then when you're ready to put them all in the same flyer, you can add them there. So I don't know why you can't, you know, why it took away my photo from before, but if you put the design in first, then you can add those other elements like your logo, like your design afterwards on top of it from your brand hub. So I'm just playing around right now showing you how you can put different elements in, but it's really helpful as you think about promoting your positions, doing marketing for your recruitment. If you can organize things from the smallest elements up, so think about what is the marketing little bits that you need. You want some compelling photos that you can use. You want to have taglines or you want to um, have your logo. You want to have certain colors. So if you can get all the little pieces together and you can store them in a tool like Canva, then it makes it super easy to just drag and drop those different elements all together to create a new post that you can then um, use on social media or on your website or in a flyer. And it can just quickly uh, create new graphics based on the existing graphics that you have. So hopefully that at least open your mind up to some things that might be possible. If you would like a demo or like help walking through and you're using Canva or you're thinking about using it, feel free to reach out. You know, I have a decent amount of experience now using this tool and have really enjoyed everything that it allows me to do. And I'm happy to, you know, look it over with you and try to help you troubleshoot how you can use it for your recruitment.